the top of the world. Extreme beauty, cloaked in danger. Here, plummeting temperatures and hurricane force winds keep life forever on the edge. An avalanche can obliterate everything in its path in seconds. But descend into the ocean's depths and the challenges are equally fierce. A frigid universe is home to alien life forms. Here, darkness reigns. The planet's molten core bursts through, creating a hellish underworld. Yet here too, life endures. From summit to abyss, challenge is the engine that drives the extraordinary diversity of life on Earth. The soaring mountains of Central Asia. There are more than 400 mountains in the world over 23,000 feet, and all of them are in Asia. This is a frozen kingdom locked in ice. Along the Chinese border, sheer peaks thrust almost four miles into the air. In the steep foothills to the north, you'd expect an animal to be nimble and swift. So the giant panda's an unlikely candidate for life on the edge. He's plump, sedentary, and a picky eater. He only eats bamboo. It's the fastest growing plant on Earth and plentiful at high altitudes. But because it's so tough to digest and low in nutrients, the panda spends up to 16 hours a day eating. He can stuff down more than 85 pounds of bamboo shoots in a single day. All that eating leaves little time for much else. Even mating has to wait. And wait. But patience pays off. Spring is the season for panda romance. It's a critical time. With as few as 1,600 giant pandas left in the wild, each and every birth is a step away from extinction. But females are only fertile for 48 to 72 hours a year. So every birth is a miracle. No one has ever filmed a newborn panda in the wild until now. At barely a week old, he's being nursed by his mother. She will literally cradle the cub for three months, licking him to ward off infection. The baby's not much bigger than a stick of butter, and mom weighs more than 200 pounds. He's not only tiny, he is utterly helpless. And it will be three years before the cub is ready to strike out on his own. Bamboo may be plentiful in these mountains, but ease comes with a tragic price. The panda's bamboo diet makes for such weak milk, she's barely able to nourish a single cub. And if she gives birth to two, she must choose which to nurse and which to abandon. 
life at the top of the earth is precarious. But the challenges are equally harsh in the abyss. The ocean covers nearly three quarters of planet Earth. But we know more about the moon than about the deepest parts of the sea. This is our planet's final frontier. A place so extreme that until recently, few believed any life could survive here. At about 1,600 feet down, there's too little oxygen for most living things. This is the shadow zone. But the vampire squid is perfectly at home here, with the help of some radical adaptations. Vampire blood is designed to make use of every molecule of oxygen. Supersized gills and a low metabolism complete the package. Despite its name, the vampire squid is more often prey than predator. Trickery is its best defense. At the end of each tentacle, a pocket of bacteria emits an eerie blue light. To a hungry predator, these glowing orbs look like eyes, eight of them. Waving luminescent arms only add to the confusion. When all else fails, the vampire squid uses his black cloak to disappear into the night. Beneath our feet, the dark abyss harbors an even stranger hidden world. For humans, caves are full of danger, both real and imagined. The ancient Maya believed caves were the entrance to the underworld, which they called Shibalba, or place of fright. This is Mexico's Cave of the Swallows. At 1,200 feet deep, it's almost large enough to engulf the Empire State Building. Without parachutes, these base jumpers would free fall for a full 12 seconds before they hit bottom. Caves remain the least explored land on Earth but venturing into one can be deadly. To simply lose one's way in the miles of underground passages is to be buried alive. The creatures that live their lives in caves are extreme in every sense of the word. But capturing them on film isn't a job for the squeamish. Cameras short circuit with the humidity and filth. Planet Earth's crew filmed in this hellish underworld for a month. Suiting up in special gear 